How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teens video, of course it being Wednesday and 4pm, it's time for an episode. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you didn't already know, EA dropped a brand new icon into the game, uh, Requelm. I uh, can't say that I remember him, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but he's been added his prime and prime moments, because obviously the baby and middle icons aren't able to pack anymore. Uh, so if you didn't see that already, I thought I would uh, fill you in and show you guys that uh, that he's been added to the game. I hope EA bring more icons in. Apparently there's rumours that they're bringing in a bunch of new ones, so I'm really excited. Hopefully they do. Uh, but there's a, little, uh, there's a little news flash, I guess, for the episode. Enjoy it. If you missed Sunday's episode, uh, we created a Discord for irate or teams. Now, the main benefit of this is that I'll be telling you guys when I'm recording these episodes in the announcement section. We have 524 members, which I'm very grateful for you guys that are joining. Uh, and over here in the announcement, as you guys can see, I literally let you guys know when we're recording the episodes and things like that. Uh, uh, there's a general chat, there's uh, a, a feed for when I upload videos, there's a feed for when I Twitch stream. Uh, it's really cool, link in the description, make sure you guys go and, uh, and join the the IRA team's Discord, I guess. Uh, and one thing I'm going to be doing as well, really quickly, for those people that have been spamming their teams non-stop, from this episode onwards, so I won't be doing it now, but from now on, we're having a zero spam policy because a lot of you guys have been getting angry in the comments with people that have been uh, spamming. So, for example, straight away, I noticed that uh, Ben over here put his team twice in the space of like 20 minutes. And uh, he's probably got it again somewhere if we scroll down far enough, you know. So what I'm going to be doing from now on is if you spam your team a bunch i'm gonna mute you on twitter i won't block you because that's really unfair in my opinion but what muting means is that i'll never be able to see your tweets again so uh if you spam or even if you try and enter i won't be able to see you guys anymore um it basically eliminates spamming. So uh, i thought that'd be the only fair way to do it because uh, i really want to try and involve various people instead of the same people over and over again i want to try and involve everyone um and i know you guys have been getting angry with the spam so anyway waffle done we're, we're done waffling let's jump straight into the episode we'll start off with ben's team which says this is the team i'm planning to build burnout and babu and noia will be the only tradable cards i've got uh, sorry i have completed two of the squad's ramos so i'm definitely doing him but won't be doing zakaria uh if you think not have 600k before building this and the second team is in game let's check it out so um that's interesting, actually. You know what? I actually really like the Zakaria and Babu link. The only thing I'm thinking... Uh, let me see what you're planning on doing in-game. Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Ramos at centre-back and Babu right-back, Zakaria CDM. That's actually really cool. The only thing I don't like about this team is actually Baby Hullet. That's literally the only thing I don't like, which might sound really crazy. But the thing is Baby Hullet is that his stamina is not great. Three-star skill moves as opposed to four-star. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I know that's not the, the biggest thing in the world. Three-star skills is not a bad thing for a, for a centre-mid. But uh, his, his stats don't look amazing in comparison to the other versions. And he's still a very expensive card. Now, I'm guessing you got him from a baby baby icon pack uh i see you've got blanc on the bench if that's not a lone blanc i think i'd use blanc over uh over hullet to be honest uh, and if not what i do is i would i would probably start saving now and try and get yourself maybe a blanc or the likes of a uh, someone i recommend a lot recently is petit but he's a really good card especially at that left cdm spot having a left footer on the left is a is a good thing um you know people like makalele is good icons to get um you know if you want to go with like a prime gattuso he's not the worst in the world but he's not amazing uh prime guardiola is not terrible, not amazing. Middle Desai is not bad. He's just a little bit clunky. Um, I'm just, I'll be honest with you, I think Stamina lets this Hullet down a lot and it just doesn't play like his, his, his other cards do. Uh, a lot of people think that because it's Hullet, he's going to play amazingly and I've used a card a lot and I'll be honest with you, it's, it's kind of overhyped, but this team's really nice. I like this team a lot and I like the setup in game as well. Um, I think it's really good and it works really well. I would say um, with 600k, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'd realistically change anything. I mean, this is down to personal preference on the left, but you could go and get that that Wendell card. I forget what, what type of card it is. Um, it is a UCL Live card. I don't know if they're still in the... It's it's totally extinct. At four, Wait, this card is extinct at 40k. Well, if you could snipe this card, I would, I would, I would get it uh, for sure. Um... 
yeah, this card is 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 a really nice looking left back card. Four star skills as well, uh, and obviously you don't need the strong link to Neymar if you've got a Brazilian left back. Uh, that's from the Bundesliga. Um, I'm surprised it's got a 40k price cap. That's kind of crazy. But the in games look really nice. Uh, yeah, I see I see where it's kind of gone up when it's probably got an upgrade. The in games look nice. 85 stamina is nice. It's good physicals, good pace, good dribbling, good defending, good passing. It's got everything you want from a left back. So it might be a decent shout as opposed to Burnout. Uh, the next one's coming from Christian who says, I'm on PC, uh, low with coins at the minute, but I play a 4-2-3-1 in game. The untradeable players are Roy Keane, Maldini, Alwar, Ramos, and Malqui, plus the bench. Check it out. Ooh, I don't know why the screenshot's so dark. PC screenshots have always been super dark for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, first things first, in game, I'd swap Mal... I'd, no, Maldini's right footed, right? Yeah, I, I'd still swap Maldini and Ramos, because, uh... I'm pretty sure Maldini is right footed, but he's got a four star weak foot, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check this. He might be left footed. No, he is right foot, but the four star weak foot. Uh, you want to have players that have got a better left foot on the left, in my opinion. Um, and I think Malqui will help you out with that. Obviously, it won't affect chemistry because it's only in game. Uh, what else will that change? So you're low with Queens. I would say, um, I mean, there isn't a mad upgrade you can make here with with a low amount of coins. Like you could possibly look at new right mids, potentially. Um, you know, you could look at maybe getting yourself, use that Dan James over Dembele and then get yourself uh, in for Marouane Bissaka at right back. Could be a decent shout. Uh, alternatively, you could use like... I don't even know to be honest. There's a whole host of different plays you could use that that right right mid you've already got, and then get a right back from uh, from the league. Gun. That could be a decent shout. Uh, you guys can't see it because my face is blocking it, but it's the storyline player um, that you get the Nigerian right mid from the league. Gun. Uh, but at the minute, like I would maybe go with that. And if you don't want to save coins and 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 start sort of building up plays in the club, uh, I think we're gonna get some really cool SBCs in the upcoming week or two when we get that copper uh, promo from EA. Um, which is going to be pretty cool. So I'd start saving plays and coins, maybe take untradeable rivals uh, and save your coins from champs rewards and uh, start building ready for that. Um, these are the times and the periods, in my opinion, on FIFA that I like to call the building periods where you start building the club back up after a month or two of just sheer promo, promo, SBC, objective, this, that, the other, uh, that EA want to throw at us. Now we can start, uh, start building up and start uh, refilling the club with with new players now i've just noticed as well you do have oshman on the bench you could put ben yedder as a center mid at right mid he will get a seven cam but you could play him at, uh, as a cam in game and then play oshman at top that might not be a bad shout either uh but yeah just build i'd say build 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 to be honest um Next one coming from Tobin, who said I've got 50,000 coins and only Desai is tradable and Sador from Icon Swaps. I need one more token. Uh, thinking about grinding to Ramos this week and then using him in the third squad. Also for 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two in game uh, with Mendy right back. Coman centre mid, Ramos CB, what do you think? Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, first of all, I like the use of the SBC cards and stuff. Um, you know, and the upgraded cards as well. I like that a lot. I, you know, I wish I did in Babu. That upgraded card looks great and would be sick to have in a team. Uh, Diego Carlos looks really good as well. Um, so you are looking to play either that or uh, you can play this as a full one, two, one, two. I'll be honest with you. I th I wouldn't go with this, to be honest. If you can actually stretch that many coins, I would just upgrade what you've got going for you right now, to be honest. Um, that Mendy card's about 700,000 coins, and that Ramos is like also 700k, so it's like, that's 1.4 million as is. I wouldn't grind towards that if I were you. i just upgrade your team as is right now. Um, you know, with 1.4 mil, you could be looking at a big right wing upgrade. Uh, you could upgrade Jovic potentially. Um... That's if you want to upgrade Jovic, obviously. You could upgrade you could upgrade a lot of players here with 1.4 million. Um, and obviously, as he's surrounded by icons, you could get yourself a, a really good uh, striker uh, in this setup. That it may be, you know, maybe a million coins you've got to work on a striker. Um, let's have a look what you can go with here. Because, uh, like I said, surrounded by icons, it really does not matter who you go with. Um, let's go 1,000 to 1 million. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look who you can go with. You can go with Headliners Lewandowski. This card looks really, really good. I'm mean, actually considering using him. Uh, it's a card I've been looking at for a little while. Ronaldo, obviously, if you wanted to go with that. You can go with the likes of Inform Mohamed Salah, if you want to go with that. Uh, there's a bunch of different icons you can go with as well. That could be added into the selection. Uh, Scream Aguero. 
Luis Suarez, people like that, really. There's a lot of different players. And by the way, when I say Luis Suarez, it's just because I've read his name out. Now that I think about it, Suarez is probably not a player I go with, but it's just a player I've, I've, I've just read out. But Mason Green was is a good card as well. Uh, I already know all the comments. People are like, well, Weber says that Luis Suarez is used. Well, all right, please leave me alone, all right? Sometimes I make mistakes. And sometimes I don't think when I say things. I don't think Luis Suarez is usable this year, okay? I'm going to throw it out there right now. Um, but yeah, I would say it's probably way more, way worth it not spending 1.4 mil on two positions and trying to upgrade the, the team a little bit more well-roundedly. The next team is from Joshi, who says, Hey man, uh, Neymar is the only untradeable... Uh, sorry, that's the only tradable 60,000 coins. Keep it the good words. Check it out. So, got 60k to work with here. This is what the team's looking like. I like this a lot, actually. Like, this is a really cool hybrid. Um... <laughs> To be honest, I think the only thing I would change here, to be honest, is just... Uh, I know I just said to be honest twice there. Um, I'd just get rid of Ariola, to be honest. Ariola, there's no point, in my opinion, even though he isn't tradable, there is no point playing Idrissa and Ariola both off chemistry just to get him in the squad. I would get rid and I'd get yourself in probably Kale or Navas, to be honest. Um... You could go with that. You could, if you don't care about Idrissa being off chem, you could get yourself De Gea in there and get the Spanish link. But I would say go with Kale or Navas. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably way worth it getting players on chemistry than going for that winter refresh card. The rest of the team is, is fire, though. This is a really nice team. I like this team a lot. Um, I like what you're doing with the team, to be honest. Uh, and, and obviously with 60k, there is realistically no improvement that can be made there. Just want to quickly interrupt this video to talk about one of our sponsors, uh, SoccerUS.com. Now, they are a website that sell uh, jersey replicas. They're actually really good quality as well i have got so many jerseys from them uh, and i actually really like them now one thing i want to quickly say a lot of you guys have placed orders with soccer us in recent times obviously with the outbreak of uh covid19 um you guys you guys know what i'm talking about uh unfortunately uh, logistics got delayed and deliveries got delayed now they're starting to roll out now um so for anyone that placed an, or an order or want to place an order you can get yourself a free shirt if you put in the comments of your order uh which jersey you want you just literally say i want a my united jersey in small they'll give you a free one uh for all the issues that they've had with with delayed deliveries and things like that uh but it should all be wor working smoothly now highly recommend them they're actually really good quality and super cheap you know for for literally you can get yourself things like my united chinese dragon jersey for $26 and they retail for like $90, $100. So in my opinion, it's it's worth it. Uh, the quality is almost identical to the real ones and uh, they're super good. So I highly recommend them. Uh, thank you all as well for putting me in a position to be able to get sponsors on the channel and things like that. I'm, I'm super grateful uh, to be in that kind of position uh, and I really appreciate it. So let's get on with the rest of the episode. The next team is coming from Robert who says, Hi Haber, uh, I've only got 85,000 coins but I'm willing to save up and the only tradables from my team are Stoichkov and Destegen. The whole bench is untradable too. Any suggestions from now or the future? Keep the good work. Much respect. Hey, thank you man. Appreciate that. So let's have a look. You've got 85,000 coins to work with in this team. Uh, what I would say, to be honest, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, why wouldn't I be honest with you, obviously? <laughs> uh, I would say the only... The only positions, in my opinion, and it, it kind of sucks because you've just spent a little bit of money on this flashback Hummels. Uh, obviously, you've had this PK, I'm guessing, for a while, and you probably like him. They're the only positions, in my in my opinion, in this team that are weak. Uh, I don't say weak, meaning that they're bad. I just think that they're weak in comparison. You know, you've got one of the best goalies in the game, good left back, good right back solid midfield, solid attack. I would just say they're the only two positions to work on. Now, I wouldn't start working on them straight away because obviously there's no point. I would say wait for decent SBCs. Maybe you look at doing that Ramos in the in, in the course of a couple of months. Uh, you know, maybe you wait until you get lucky and... Uh, lucky as if it happens to us but maybe you wait until hopefully you get lucky in red picks i see you got red neymar so it could happen again um or you just sort of work on coins to to get icons in the center back spots to be honest um that is the only thing i see in this team that could be upgraded you've got a fantastic midfield you've got uh two great cdms you've got great cams great striker great left back and right back i mean they're, they're decent center backs but the only places you can improve really is a center back spot so i would possibly just wait maybe wait until icon sorts three or save up coins to buy icons uh the rest of the team is sick though i like the team a lot uh, the next one is coming from Rob, who says, I've got 474,000 coins, a very specific number. Uh, everyone's untradeable bar Messi. Who do I get for the central camp position? Keep it the good work. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate the support uh, on the videos and stuff. So you're looking for a central camp. I would say, uh, ha, ha, ha. 
Central cams. Now, I'm actually going to look at Icon straight away because I want to see if you can get decent chemistry here, uh, first of all. So let's go all Icons. I'm going to filter it to 500k because 26k is not difficult to get. Um, let's add another zero there because it filters only 5,000 for some reason. And we're looking for Central cams. So um, the first thing that pops up in, into my head is this Prime Haji. This is actually a really good card. Haji's very good. I like him a lot. Um, if you want skills, a Kotcha, but he's not amazing. Uh, same with Baggio. They're not the world's best, but they are, you know, they do have a lot of flair and, and skills and things like that. Um, you know, Rui Costa's decent. He's been a decent card. Uh, I really enjoyed using this Figo card as well. Uh, I don't know what it is about him. He just felt really, really good in game. Um, Socrates is decent. Rivaldo is decent. Uh, any lower rated ones that we can throw in the mix real quick? Doesn't look like it. No, it does not look like it. What about strikers to center forwards? What about these? Um, mm, don't really see anyone that jumps out that we haven't already mentioned. Uh, maybe Raul. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad card as a central cam, uh, but it's, it's if you want to buy it. Obviously, he's been in icon swaps. I don't know if you've got any tokens left you can use. Uh, I don't know how much uh, Baby Zola is these days, but he is a good card. Um, yeah, I don't think he's under 500k, though. Uh, so, yeah, I'd just go with... Uh, I would say I'd probably narrow it down to Prime Haji, uh, Baby Figo, or Middle Raul. Um, I'd name. I, I'd narrow it down to these three, to be honest. Uh, all three decent cards and could be decent cams for you. Um, and would get you everyone on full cam bar Werner as well. So, you know, that's a benefit too. Uh, but the team's really nice. So I like the team a lot. Uh, alternatively, you could go with someone like Danny Olmo if you want future stars. I know that's going to be one person that a lot of people recommend. I personally do not think that Danny Olmo card is amazing. Uh, you know, it's all right, but I don't think it's amazing. He could be one that you go with though if you want to. Um... But yeah, maybe maybe go with one of the one of the icons that I've already mentioned. Uh, the next team coming from me, Neville, who says uh, right Burkamp, Neymar, and Hadji are tradable. The rest of the team, including the bench, are not. I've got 500k for upgrades, and I play the same formation in game. I am a gooner, having fun with the front three. Love the channel. Hey, thank you, man. Hey, I see that. Nice. I like it when people just use plays they enjoy in real life. That's one thing. The best bit of advice I can give you, if you're in a rut with FIFA, you're just not enjoying it, try buying a few plays that you enjoy in real life. You know, that Rooney card for me is going to make me enjoy FIFA a lot more. Um, having Ronaldo in the squad and things like that, it's just, you know, plays that I enjoy in real life and things. Uh, they sometimes can, can imp uh, you know, imp uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just inject a bit of fun into FIFA. Uh, but this seems really nice. Now, you have 500,000 coins for upgrades. I would say... The only upgrade I would say is more here. Uh, I get why you've got Haji. Uh, I wouldn't massively rush to upgrade Haji. You have Dan James on the bench if you want that injection of pace. Clearly, you don't care. That's why you're using Haji. I would just say more is probably the best to upgrade here. For 500k, let's have a look. Let's just filter CDMs for 500k uh, that are icons uh, and see what we get over here. Prime Roy Keane jumps out at me straight away. Could be a really good opportunity to, to you know inject him into the squad. I think Nakata is a really, really good attacking CDM. A lot of people say, why would you Why would you recommend Nakata? Um, his prime moments are a little bit too expensive. You know, it's, it's 300k over, but his prime, is, uh, his prime is still decent. This card has got really good well-rounded stats and has decent defensive stats as well, With a chem style could be even better. Uh, if we were to add, for example, an anchor, uh, you know, he becomes an 86 CDM, only 79 CDM, but as a center mid or a CDM, it's not the worst in the world. Um... Could be could be used pretty well, pretty effectively as, a, as an attacking CDM. Uh, who else could we look at? We could look at 87 Guardiola if you look for someone like this, although I think he might be a bit clunky in game. So I would say between Roy Keane and Nakata, depending on if you want more defensive or more attacking mining CDM, uh, both are going to be pretty decent for you. But I like the team a lot, and I like that you're using plays that you enjoy. And the last one for this episode is going to be from Thor, uh, who says, Untradables are Ronaldo, Dembele, and every special card. I've got 50,000 coins saving up for Skulls and Noya. Love you, vids. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. So, I like Rooney in there already. Big fan of that. Mm, mm, not entirely sure about Rabio. You probably sub him off, I'm guessing, or swap him with Skulls. I mean, this seems very, very defensive. Very defensive. Uh, first things first, Craft in net. Not entirely sure why. Get get him out straight away. Noya straight away in the team. Uh, how many coins you got? You have. 50k. Uh, so yeah, I go with Neuer as your goalkeeper. I then work on getting rid of Rijkaard. Um, 
Or if you if you're getting if you having right card as your left CDM, I'd work on getting rid of skulls uh, and get yourself someone else in the team. Maybe you go with the likes of a Shearer, might be a better central cam than skulls. Uh, and I'd also try and get rid of Rabio and maybe get yourself in. I don't know really. Um, there's a, there's not really that many central Juve players this year, is there? Uh, you could bring in Matuidi and play him as a CDM, and then you you bin off both icons and get yourself someone better. Uh, that could be that could be a decent shout. You've got 50k at the minute, so it's stuff we're going to be thinking of in the in the far future. But this team is a little bit strange to me. Um, this is why I ask for people's in games because I've just noticed you got Dembele at right back. So you guys have probably already worked out what he's doing, but I personally haven't. I'm guessing do you go Mendy, Mendy right back, Rabio, Rikard, CDMs, Dembele, Skulls, Cam. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but like I said, save up your coins, get yourself some better icons, um, and uh, and get yourself someone else that's not crafting goal. That's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support on the channel. You guys are epic. Uh, I love you all. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.